Today I'd like to tie for you a Light Hendrickson Emerger. The hook I have in the vise is a size 12. It's a curved shank hook. There's an umpqua. I'm going to use Vivas 14 aught thread, and this is brown. I'm going to start behind the eye of the hook, and I'm going to bring it back halfway. And then forward it again half of that. And I'm going to bring it forward half of that. We're going to start with the wings. For the wings, I have mallard flank. This, these are dyed wood duck. I'm going to use one feather for each wing here. And I want those wings to be almost the length of the body. Fold that into the, tie that into the far side, and then put a couple of wraps around the hook shank. And we'll remove the excess. Take another one for this side. Measure it up to the first. Tie that in tight. And I'm going to bring this one down just a little bit further before I cut it than the previous one. That will help make the taper on the body. I'm going to leave that wing like that for now. We'll take care of it when we come back up. I'm going to take I have brown boot lace. It's a nice dark dark shucks on a lot of the mayflies. We're going to tie that in. And wrap all of that right down. Came right up to where I cut off the second wing. And we're going to trim this. And I want to kind of get it at an angle. You don't want it perfectly cut off straight. Just cut it from the back and you can get it different lengths. Now I'm going to take a stripped peacock hurl. Make sure these are well soaked before you start. And I had it soaking in my hot coffee. That gets them nice and soft quickly. And I'm not worried about the any germs or anything on it because I bleached the peacock hurl to get the fibers off it. So that bleach kills everything. We'll wrap this right in. Now when I go to wrap around the second wing, it's good to stand it up or put it on its side. And that makes it easier where the thread isn't going to slip off on you. you can get a couple of wraps in there. Stand up the other. Now I'm going to wind the peacock hurl. Even though it's soaked, you still have to be delicate with it. I'm going to get a little bit of head cement and put it on the shaft before I wind it. And that will help to secure that peacock hurl.
and we're going to line that right up to the thread which is about two-thirds of the way see there's a couple of uh, peacock curl left on there not a big deal though we'll add more to the illusion of the coming out of the shuck and we're going to tie that down and we'll get rid of that excess now I'm going to take tan fur from the red fox and we're going to dub the abdomen And we're going to get right in front of it. We could even do a little bit of a figure eight there to help them divide. And start wrapping the head. Now we're going to take a dun colored CDC. We're going to tie this in by the tip. And we're going to wind this, wind this hackle. You could even put a wrap around the back side of the wing. And I'm going, whoop. And come back to the front. get those trapped hairs out of there and just put a few of those couple of wraps in there that is down Trim off that excess. Wind the head there. Take the whip finisher. And we'll put a little bit of head cement on the head. Take that all the way around. And here we have a light Hendrickson emerger. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.